Welcome back to the farm. My name's Roz, also known as Passion Flower, and you'll find me here each week talking about my farming and creative life. This week started off quite warm, and because of that, we thought that we should do some clearing and preparation around the farm to make sure that it was not a haven for snakes. Considering in the last few weeks, we've definitely seen a few around. So we did some clearing of our wood supply pile and stacked everything really neatly up onto pallets so we could see underneath and moved anything that we didn't think we were going to use and we'll put that onto a bonfire pile to burn a little bit later. I also cleaned out the small shed that's right next to my place and it kind of become a bit of a dumping ground. It started as some storage for me as well as a place to keep the garden equipment that we needed for just around the house. But now that we have the big shed, there's stuff in there that I've been storing that I am going to be using over here. And anything that, that is still going to be kept into storage, like Christmas decorations, for example, can go up onto our mezzanine so that they're in a clean, dry and safe place. So everything came out of that little shed and the only things that went back in was a shovel and the push mower. I have to go through a few tubs and tidy up a little bit now over here. There are a few piles that I need to go through, but I think that's a much better solution and it means that we can easily get in and out of that small shed and use it properly as a garden shed rather than as for storage. I'd shown you that I'd started on the path out by the side of the shed. I put down weed matting and rimmed it with bricks. So this week I arranged to have some gravel delivered and then we wheelbarrowed that round and put laid it down as a proper path. It just needs to be like compacted down now to make it uh, beautiful and smooth and with some rain, which we've had in these past few days, that will help to settle it and it will become a solid path. However, it's been disturbed a little bit these past few days. I have another naughty cow story, which I seem to have almost every week at the moment. So we built the new fences on either side of the shed, one over by the garden and then another one by the, the water tanks. And previously by the water tanks, we just had some stakes in the ground with some, some twine running between it to keep them out. And they hadn't even tried to get through that. As soon as we build a fence, they have now pushed through, broken part of the fence, and they've been eating the grass in the area behind the tanks. And they've traveled around, of course, to the other side of the shed, and they have eaten some of the vegetables. Maybe they smelt that rhubarb and they needed to get in and try their hand there. And they have stomped all over my beautiful path, and they have pooed on it as well. So I'm going to have to do some tidying through there, re-flatten out the beautiful gravel that I'd made look so lovely, and uh, hopefully fix the fence so that they can no longer push through, because I think now that they know that they can, they're going to keep trying. We had put them into a small paddock by the house where the small shed is, and they had pushed over a post and had got back in here this morning. So we will we'll have to uh, really reinforce and make sure that we put the, uh, the posts in quite hard. Maybe even electrify the, uh, the fence for a little while. Just put an offset hop wire on it to uh, provide a little bit of a deterrent um, because they're really cheeky. And although they do help to keep the grass down, they are um, creating holes where they stand and they are eating the plants that they should not be eating. Well, I've gotten to the end of the week and I realized that I really haven't done much craft this week, but I have been involved with craft. And it was a really nice thing that I was able to do. The lovely ladies at Unwind, who I've talked about many times before here, um, I've had my passion flower yarns in their shop and I have also really love going to their monthly sit and stitch. And obviously we can't do that at the moment. We're all in lockdown here in Melbourne. 
So they have recently started Zoom calls once a week where they gather a few um, unwinders together and they sit and chat and they broadcast that live on Facebook so that the rest of the unwind community can be a part of that conversation, can see what some people are working on and can comment and chat along with the people that are actually speaking with them on the Zoom. So this week uh, I was part of that chat and it was really lovely to, to see their faces and to talk. Uh, we each had a knitting project with us. I, uh, I just cast on a, another dishcloth and was knitting on that so I didn't have to think too much. It didn't matter if I made any mistakes because once I start talking I get quite distracted. I also shared my granny stripe blanket which I was really proud of and it was nice to be able to actually show that to the crafty community and to get feedback on it and to talk about what other people were doing, interact and see their projects and to really just connect with other crafters. So even though I didn't craft much this week, that time spent with them talking about craft was different and felt really good and was a way of being able to share and express my craft, which I haven't been able to do for a while. Well, that's it for another week. Thanks for spending some time with me. If you're enjoying these videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you next week on the farm. Bye.